In this video you will learn how to build such login page by using Material UI and React. So the first question is why do we want to use Material UI and not just some custom styling? The main point is that we are getting lots of different components from here with typical Material UI design, which is looking great. And we don't always want to implement all our CSS from scratch, sometimes it makes a lot of sense to speed up our application by using one of the popular libraries, and Material UI is for sure extremely popular. Our first step is to install all our dependencies, this is why here npm install MUI, Material, then MUI, Icons Material, we need a lock icon inside our form, and also Emotion slash Styled, and the motion slash react. Both two emotion libraries are dependencies of Material UI, this is why we must install them. And here is our empty login component. Our first step here is to send our content, and for this we can use container, where we can provide max width, which will be excess. And as you can see, we are getting nice autocomplete because it is covered with TypeScript. Inside our container, we want a paper element. And actually paper is a really nice element, which allows us to render element with elevation, so it looks something like this. This is why here let's provide for paper elevation 10, and just right inside login page. As you can see in browser, we already got our centered element with paper inside, this is this elevation and login page element. And the typical beginner question for Material UI, how we can provide custom styling for the component. And for this, in every single Material UI element, we have a six property, and this is an object. And here we can write, for example, margin top, as you can see we are getting nice autocomplete, and I want here 8, and padding 2. Let's check it in browser. Now it is looking much better, we are getting margin and padding, and here are our elements. We can see classes like MUI container and MUI paper, this is why it is easier to understand what classes we want to check. But here is the point, as you can see this is MUI paper, where we provided this attribute a 6. And as you can see on the right we are getting here margin top 64 pixels and padding 16 pixels, which actually means these values are not initial pixels like in CSS, these are just some internal values of the theme inside Material UI. As you can see on the official website we have spacing, and here you can use like M for margin, P for padding, and also margin top, margin bottom and so on, and here is a transformation. For example, margin minus 2 will equal minus 16 pixels, 0 is obviously 0, 0, 5 is 4, and margin 2 is 16 pixels. Additionally to that, if at some point you want to update all the spacing values, you can do that through theme, but this is more advanced topic. So we rendered our element, now inside first of all we want to render our avatar. And there is a component avatar, where inside we want to render log outlined icon. As you can see it is coming from icons material, this is exactly why we installed this package, and now here is how it looks in browser, the icon is there, but we want to send it. This is why here on the avatar in S6 we can provide some custom styling. We can use here a mix auto, which will position it on the center, then provide different background color, here I want to use secondary, dot main, text align center, and margin bottom 1. The only interesting part here is the secondary main, which essentially means here we can provide not only CSS values, but also properties, which will be parsed correctly by Material UI. And this is how it looks in browser, now it is purple and it is positioned in the center. Inside Material UI we also have a component for typography, and it might be a little bit confusing for you. So here is typography, where we are writing a component, and it will be h1, and now here is the variant, and inside variant I will write h5, and inside let's write sign in. As you can see here, as a result we are getting h1, which we specified in the component, but the styling was applied like it is h5, which is actually quite flexible, because it allows you to separate styling from exactly what DOM node you are using in your markup, because for example typically h1 tag must be only once on the screen. And here let's position this element in the center, so it will be text align center. 
After typography, we want a form. We could use here just a normal form component, but we can also use a box. And what I really like about Material UI, when you simply search on the right and you type something like maybe box, in the single line here on the top, you understand what this component does. Like for example, what's box? Box component is a generic theme aware container with access to CSS utilities, which essentially means it is comfortable to use it as almost any container. And here for box, we can provide a component which will be form, which will make it a form element. And here we can write on submit just like a normal form, for example, handle submit callback. And here I want to provide no validate and also some margin. So let's provide here margin top one. We don't have handle submit function, so let's create it here on the top. For example, handle submit will simply console log login. As you can see in browser, our form was rendered with the help of this box component. Now inside we can render our text fields and for this we have a separate component text field where we can provide a placeholder. Here will be enter username. Then we can provide full width. So it will be width 100%. Then it is required out of focus. So the first element is focused for us and also some margin. So let's provide here margin bottom two. Now we can do exactly the same and create a text field for the password. So here will be enter password. Full width is fine, required is fine, and we don't need autofocus, margin, but we need here type password. As you can see in browser, we are getting two nice inputs for username and password. After this, we want to render a checkbox and a label, and inside Material UI there is a possibility to render a form control element, which contains exactly the label and some control element like a checkbox. This is why here let's use form control label and provide inside our control. And our control will be a component checkbox, also from Material UI, with value remember and color primary. And also here we can provide a label, remember me. As you can see now we're getting a checkbox together with label and they are binded to each other. And after this we need a submit button. So here we can use a button component again from material UI, type submit. Here we can provide a variant, it will be contained, also full width and some small margin. So let's use here margin top one. And inside we can write our text sign in. Our button is correctly rendered now. The last thing that we need on the bottom are two links, forgot password and register. They were situated on different sides of our container. This is why we can use here after box a grid. And here we can provide that grid is a container. And actually there is a nice documentation from the TypeScript. Here we can see that container, when it is true, the component will be a flex container. Now here we can provide justify content, space between, and also some margin, margin top one. Now inside we can create grid item, and inside we will have a link. And it is important, as you can see, I have installed React Router DOM and also Material UI. So we want to use here a link from Material UI, but inside as a component we can provide router link. And router link is coming from React Router DOM. So the import here on the top would be import link as router link, because in other case we will have a name conflict between Material UI and React Router DOM. So here we provide it inside a router link component, and we need to provide two, and it will lead to slash forgot page. Now inside let's render forgot password, and let's copy paste the whole grid item again. It also will be a link with router link component on slash register page, and here the text will be sign up. And as you can see in browser, our form is completely ready. We didn't write any CSS at all, just some custom styling inline for our components. And if you feel like you don't have enough skills to pass a React job interview, but you want a new job and more money, I highly recommend you to check this video of mine, where I covered lots of practical tasks and React questions that you can get on the interview.